Hi everyone, Saski here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. I'm on the way to the barn where there are a bunch of the latest rescues and the girls from that rescue are very wild. So we're actually on the way and Ursula's already there waiting for me to catch a wildling. And I wanna show you some really easy taming techniques. So not one that you have to follow up and do all the time, but just, you know, whenever you hold your guinea pig, you can do this and I guarantee you it will make a difference. So let's go see where Ursula is and let's watch her catch a wildling. All right, let's go for it. So pre-dinner time would be easier if we, uh, well, she's obviously not the wildest because she comes right up to you. So why don't we get a little greens just to spread it out a little bit and I bet you it's going to be easier and they're going to come and so let me get a little. Oh, I could totally do that. Easy. Or you can just pick one that you think is super wild and just go for it. You kind of need help, don't you? No, I don't. You're a seasoned wildling catcher. It's always the one that you can catch. Oh, yeah, yes, good job. Hi, honey. Look at this lady. Hi, Missy. Oh yes, you wild thing. Oh yes, you're okay. Oh, okay. So this is the worst thing for me is to see a guinea pig that is scared. Okay, and that is what happens when they're wild, where they're untamed, unsocialized. They, their life, they live in constant fear. So I want them to get over that as soon as possible, so that they can not live in fear anymore. So that to me is my is the first priority. So what are we gonna call her? Wildling. I think that's a cute name. Wildling. Wild thing. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so we have Wildling here in the basket. And so one of few things. She's either gonna be completely paralyzed in fear or she's going to fight me. Now what we're going to do is that I'm going to go and show you a few techniques, which is are very simple. You can do on the table. I like my table and work with guinea pigs because it's a little higher up uh, and that really works. Now, if you have a wild guinea pig in a basket like this, there is a chance that they, she, he, she might jump out when you try and reach in. So what I like to do is use both hands at the same time so that this first hand kind of covers this area while she kind of sees the second hand come in. And I always try and be very gentle. I don't want to like grab and reach when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna gently and hope, I might have to just grab her for her own safety, but I'm hoping she's just gonna let me slowly just gently grab her. Now what's also important when you're doing this work is that you yourself stay calm. Make sure your breathing just is nice and you don't hold your breath and you're not all tense because the animal's gonna sense it. So you really wanna just, you know, as if it's like the most normal thing in the world and you do this like a hundred times a day <laughs> because the animal will pick up on that energy as well. So, okay, so let's go with that. Let's go take her out of her basket. And she's pretty scared. She lets me pick her up. Remember to put that little front paw here in between gives you lots of extra control. Okay, mommy. There. Now, we saw that she's very scared. Now she's nice and calm, but she's definitely looking around like, hey, where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? And she's not been handled, even though it's really interesting how some of the males of this group had been handled quite well had been around people more because I think they were not away in cages these were kept away in cages uh, but the females are all wild buck wild so she is calm but she's scared and we need to show her that we don't mean her any harm so the easiest way the one thing every guinea pig likes is a head scratch. So we're starting with this. But I've got my hand here, okay? Because I'm not trusting her to just not run off yet. So I have my hand here. 
we're just scratching and there's lots of sounds going on here just like there would in your house so I'm just scratching and then I stop scratching and her mind is she her little brain is going on what's happening what's going on what's I don't like any of this so she might even be like looking for the way out like as soon as I let go or just like you know my my grasp relaxes a little bit she might just you know want to run off the table so I'm being very aware of her how she feels scratchy scratchies and then I don't scratchy and then I go back for a little scratchy scratchy and it looks like I'm not doing a lot but I'm doing I am doing a lot right now this is a lot for this guinea pig okay because what I'm teaching her right now is that for one I touched her she didn't die and not only that, but that, that head scratch was actually pretty nice. Just like that. And then I'm gonna do a little chinny scratch. Just a little chinny scratch. And then I stop. And I'm do a little chinny scratch. And I stop. Now I'm gonna pick her up. Remember again, put that little paw there. You can see how she's like, ooh, now what? what? What's going on now? You can just tell how she's just not very, very happy with that. I'm just picking her up. And I'm putting her down. But I'm holding her. I'm picking her up. And I'm going to put her down. I'm going to pick her up. I'm going to put her down. I can feel a little heart beating. I'm going to pick her up. I'm going to put her down. And then... I'm gonna change over. And you can see she's she's she wants to run. No, we're not running. We're not running. You're okay. You're okay. Stay there. Good girl. I'm gonna get another little scratchy. Oh no, no, you wanna run? Okay, so then what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna stay with her going up and down for a little bit more. But I've still I got my finger here, okay? I'm gonna put it down here. Pick you up. Every time I put her down, she's like, wow, it got picked up, I got put down, and I'm okay. So the more you do this, she's going to get comfortable with that. She's like, oh, she's going to get more relaxed with what, every single time you do this. Because most people don't do this work. They just pick them up, then they hold them, and then they put them back in the cage. And you actually haven't done any work. You haven't actually taught her anything other than... I just get hold and put back in the cage but you know it's, it's not the same as when you're kind of doing the work so it, it seems really boring but you're actually doing a lot of work so then I'm gonna go you scratch your head it's okay and she's trying to run come back no come down come down like here and go girl And I'm not going to allow her to run or go into my sleeve because that's, I don't want her to do that. I want her to just be here and be relaxed. And she's getting a little bolder now because before she was a little more scared. I'm just going to continue this. Now this technique works really well if you really have a guinea pig that is completely like super 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 skittish like we'll try run and and scratch and squeal to get away from you though there, there we go should have said that yeah you're getting frustrated uh, but it's okay so again i'm gonna lift her up i'm just gonna put her down i'm gonna lift her up i'm gonna put her down here i'm gonna give you a little scratch Lift her up and bring it down here. I'm gonna give you a little scratch. And then I'm gonna start petting you a little bit. Because that's a whole new sensation. She's never felt that before. No one's ever done that. And that feels weird. So then we're gonna bring her over here and I'm gonna repeat that. And remember this is so important because if I hadn't had that little paw through my finger here, she would have probably be able to wriggle out. There. And then I stop. 
and she still runs out. And then we'll bring her over here and we'll do a little head scratch again. Scratch, and we'll go. Now do a scratch, and I'll go. How long um, do you have to do this, you think? Well, you can do this every time you take her out of the cage, really, for about five minutes or so. But you have to do the work. You can't expect a wild guinea pig to just magically become tame. You know, people say, oh, you can, you know, bribe them with the food. And I always say, well, you can wait four years till they naturally have become tame already because that's probably how long it's going to take you before um, exceptions excluded, of course till your guinea pig's gonna be tame if you're going that route because age will mellow the guinea pig anyways. So, but with the younger pigs, and she's a younger pig, I estimate her to be about seven, eight months old. You have to confront them with what they are scared of in a nice way. So she's like, wow, I'm being pet and I'm being like, but I'm still, I'm okay. To the point that she gets used to it and knows that it's okay that she's not being harmed. And this is really hard for her because all she's known, I just we just plucked her out of there. Okay, she goes like this, we'll just pick her up. I like to do this, it's okay. I'm gonna put you back down, scratchy scratch. And that moving away is important because that's what she realizes. She touched me, but she didn't hurt me. Actually, it was quite nice, that scratch. So even though we're not seeing like immediate uh, results right now this is an alternative technique that you can use and I've got a few more that we'll do um, videos on as well that you can you can use all of them together good girl yeah okay now let's see let's see will you stay here for me we are not ready for that good girl not so bad, this scratches. So, no, I want you facing forward because now you want to go hide. Actually, she's a lot more calm because she's becoming a little more interested. And she's actually looking up rather than down to try and find somewhere to go. She's starting to smell my sweater, which is a good sign too because that means that she's not like wanting to dash into my you know plenty of space in my sleeve here so she's actually relaxed quite a bit no we're not going into my sleeve okay 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 there and see when they're when they start to like really get agitated always move slowly it doesn't matter if they're screaming yelling kicking at you just want to move slow and just touch it's just that touch the cheese all right missy i know a lot of people might ask um should you have treats with you or veggies with you while you do this or is it better without anything at first you know we could but the thing is when guinea pigs are this scared they're not gonna eat then they're really really skittish you find that the wild guinea pigs are not going to want to eat your treats um, often they won't even eat when you are in the room or when you're watching them they wait till you've gone so that wouldn't have made any difference on this stage of the training because she would not have eaten it so they get so scared that they will not eat because if they're eating, that means that their concentration is taken away for half a second on all the scary stuff that's happening. So when eventually your guinea pig will start to eat out of your hand when you're doing this, then that means that you've actually come a long way because your guinea pig has now trusted a lot more, is a lot more comfortable with the process. But this can go really, really fast. You can just teach them really fast that it's okay, but you have to do this hands-on thing. You have to touch them. Yeah. And this is as easy as it is. So you see how I'm getting a little bolder with my touches, but then I stop. So that makes her like realize that she's safe. And then I'll just touch her again. And we'll do a little pet. So yeah, this is not an overnight immediate success, but you, 
even after three or four sessions like the ones that I'm doing right now, this is a bit of a longer session, you will see a difference, you will. I have another technique that goes really fast as well where, um, you know, I always say it's the five day challenge, but you could actually do it in two days. Um, where you can get them from being completely scared and running away from you to just standing still when you're picking them up. So yeah, you just do this. So the first, the first try, you're not going to see a lot of difference. The second try, you will see a difference already. In fact, let's do this. We're going to put her away and in about an hour, we're going to do a second session and we'll see if we see a difference. And Okay, we're back, and Wildling, <laughs> I think that's a good name. She's in here, and she's had a little time to decompress and think about what the work that we just did. Um, so we're gonna, hi there, hi there. So we're gonna repeat it. Hi, oh, sweetie. Oh, come here, good girl. We're gonna repeat it. Hi, you're so pretty, so gorgeous. And we're gonna kind of do a little bit more the same. But as you can see, this time I, I, I'm actually letting her just come loose. Just wanna make her feel comfortable. Cause you see, there is a difference if you're just holding your guinea pig, you know, and you can pet them every now, but if you focus and actually doing the work and focusing on, it's, it's different. It, it definitely is different. So, because you're really focused, she feels that you are, the energy is focused on her. Nice, calm energy, remember? And, and then you want to start being a little brave and, you know, just go start here. Now I'm going to pick her up again. And you see how she's already lifted? She kind of lifted herself up a little bit in anticipation of me picking her up. So she's kind of getting to know like what's happening. She's becoming a little more familiar with it. And we're going to put you down. A little head scratch. Good girl. So you see this is a little different already from the pig that we started with. She's definitely a little more calmer. Yeah. When you say yours? Yep. So I'm going to pick her up. You see how she's kind of helping me by lifting up already again? pick her up. Hi. I love you. I'm going to go put you down here. There. Can you go stretch? No? Okay. That was that was actually a little scary. That was far away from, this, from safety. I'm sorry. But we'll get there. We'll bring you back here. It's more safe here. Right? And then, who knows? Probably not. But maybe she'll take a little nibble now. I'm not expecting her to though, but and maybe she doesn't like watermelon. No, no watermelon yet. But you can definitely tell that she's become a little calmer already. Now what I also like to do is when I'm holding them and I, I hold them like this, okay? Is while I'm doing this work, is I kind of want to just tap them really gently. Tap, right here, tap, 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 tap. And what that does, it kind of desensitizes her to being picked up. Because when they're really wild, when you pick them up, you just feel them cringe and their muscles are like all tight. You just, oh gosh, there she comes to pick me up. And and by doing this, she kind of gets used to being touched. It's kind of desensitizing, but in a very gentle way. So you just do that as part of it, just a little bit everywhere. And in the beginning, sometimes you'll, you know, the minute you do this or you touch, you'll feel them cringe as well. But, you know, and that just becomes less and less and less. And that is the beginning of taming, of like a really gentle kind of taming. Uh, plan that you can do every day the more the better you can do it four you can do it five times a day the faster you want it to go the more you want to do this okay 
and I can already tell that she's not as tense in my hands like she was earlier. She was a big bundle of muscle and that's a huge tell for me is that when they kind of start to relax a little, when they realize they're not going to get, you know, eaten up, that is already a big breakthrough. So pay attention to like the muscle tension in the guinea pig itself, okay? Okay. So that was a quick and easy little thing you can do to help your skittish guinea pig get over the fear because it's no fun for you, but it's definitely no fun for your guinea pig to be scared all the time. And that way you will both have a, a better life together. So, and I'll be sharing some more tips in the coming months as well, because I got a whole bunch more. Thank you. Thanks, Seth.